everyone welcome back to my channel this is Thai by Mobdam I'm going to be teaching us how I made this elegant booboo gown in 10 minutes I made the second one by the right please subscribe to my channel like comment and on the notification bell for you to be notified anytime I post a new video let's get started I used two and a half yards of Ankara fabric for this dress it's a short booboo gown as you can see I folded the material into four layers. How you fold your fabric depends on the pattern on the fabric. Please be careful so that when there is a beautiful pattern on the fabric, you it will not be turned upside down. I used 3.5 by 4 inches for the neck, 3.5 for the width and 4 inches for the neck length. I took away 1.5 inches from the shoulder to give the shoulder a perfect slope. I used all the weight on the fabric for it to be free. You know, it's a booboo guy. The clothes have to be very free. Not too tight and not too big, but moderate and smart. So I'm taking away the 1.5 slope at the shoulder to give the fabric, the dress, a good shape. Then straight down, I'm going to be cuffing a beautiful cuff to give the dress a beautiful cuff at the end. I've curved it as you can see. You can see I curved, I gave the dress a beautiful cuff at the edge downward. See the slope and see the neck. Now I'm going to be taking the fabric to the sewing machine to sew. I'm going to be showing you how I use my bias to turn the neck and to give it a beautiful look. I've joined the shoulder together. I want to show you how I use my hand to flatten the joining at the shoulder. Because right now I don't want to go to the pressing iron to go and press, but I will use my hand to do that before I go and press it. So I'm going to fix the bias at the neck before I go for the final pressing. I'm using my hand, I'm using the tip of my hand to press it. And you can see how flat and beautiful the clothes is. You can see that it's very beautiful using your hand. It's not compulsory that you use your hand. If there is any other means for you, like going to the pressing iron to press it, the pressing table to press it, there is no problem. Just that I want to put the bias at the neck before I go for the final pressing. I'm doing the same to the other side of the fabric that I've joined at the shoulder. I'm using the tip of my finger to press it down before I fix the bias. Please, on the notification bell, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you as you do so. So this is my bias. See the edge of the bias. I'm going to be putting the bias from the right side of the fabric. I sew through the right side then I, I will turn it to the wrong side then sew on it again. At the edge of the bias you will have to flatten one side of the bend side. Then you press it to the other side again. You can see. Just press like half inch on top so as for easy knitting when it's been sold on the cloth now this is the bias on the right side of the fabric then I'm going to be following that line of which the bias is being bent round to the edge and when I get to the final edge I'm not going to be bending it like the first edge I'm just going to sew it over. I'll sew the bias over the bent edge so as to give it a neat look. So I've started sewing. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and on your notification bell. That is very important. So I'll be sewing it. Gently, you don't have to rush because this is the neck. Be sewing it small, small. 
till you get to the hand of the other side I'm sewing it gently don't pull your bias if you want it to give you a nice shape at the neck and if you want the round shape of the neck to come out don't pull your bias make sure it's going by itself on the machine be using your hand to adjust it to flatten it down but don't pull the bias don't pull the bias then don't pull the neck of the fabric don't pull the cloth pulling the cloth will make it will make the neck to be wider and it will give it one kind of shape that will not even be okay so i'm closer to the edge i cut off like half inch from the bias for it to lap the first edge that i bend see it i sew that flat one on top of the one edge i bend now i'm going to be turning it to the rough side to the wrong side can you see can you see i i saw the edge how i finished the closing make sure your your sewing is neat trim off every thread on the dress to give it a neat look now i'm going to be pressing it to that other side you can take it if you're a beginner you can take it to the pressing table and press it with the iron before you start sewing but i'm not going to be doing that right now until i'm through with the sewing finally then i will take it to my pressing table to press it to give it the final look so this is me sewing against it make sure you knit that head very well don't let the the one on top to come out under knit it pass it inside to give you a neat look now i've started sewing on it when you are sewing don't pull the cloth again just be following the cloth and the bias as the machine is sewing then be using your hand to flatten the bias down since you have not pressed it before use your hand to press the bias down to give it a neat and beautiful look when you get to that shoulder side that you joined make sure it is opened it's not overlapping it's not slipping on each other it is flatly open gently and steady be patient don't 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 rush for you to get a good final look you can see i'm using my hand to press it down to flatten it so as for it to give me a neat look look at the shoulder you can see that the shoulder is left open the dress can even go that way without even pressing with the way that i've used my hand to press the shoulder the neck everything done it looked neat and flat so now this is the neck you can see how beautiful the bias is and neat now the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding the lace at the front i'm going to be putting i'm going to be adding it to the front I will look for the center and put it, then I'll show you the final look. This is the final look of the gown. You can see how beautiful the dress is. This is beautiful. So please don't forget to on your notification bell, comment, subscribe, like. And remember to always come back to my channel because I'm going to be posting how i saw beautiful stars yeah thank you 